Today I made three drinks that I got requested at the bar I work at. They're a little unusual and a little head scratcher. Let's see what Riley thinks of What's up? Are you ready to try three unusual cocktails? What's in it? Let's find out. So I work at the Julian Hotel. We get a lot of travelers coming in for business, weddings. It's a very destination spot. They order different cocktails that are popular or either that they like at their home bar and they would like us to make them sometimes. So you have to cater to mm -hmm. regional needs, not our region. Right. And that might look a little suspicious. Right. So this first one we're going to try is basically, it is, it's not basically, it is a Wisconsin Old Fashioned. Okay, that sounds good. And if you're not familiar with uh, Wisconsin Old Fashioned, it uses brandy, muddled cherries, oranges, bitters, simple syrup, and then uh, your brandy, and then you either get it sweet or sour. Uh, sweet is adding more, <laughs> uh, or adding like Sierra Mist, and sour is basically adding squirt. I love that soda. And here's the kicker on this one. How many times I asked for the garnish of mushrooms and olives on the sour one? See, that's where you lost me? No. No. Why? Yeah. And people always look, why don't you have that stuff? Because we live in Iowa. We're not in Wisconsin. So. I can get behind a Wisconsin old fashioned. I think I will like that redder, red, better than a traditional sure. old fashioned. But no. Yeah. Nothing with brine. Yeah. Thank I mean, you. Come on. Who wants this in their freaking cocktail? I mean, I would if I was drinking a dirty martini a or something that was supposed to be salty. All right, let's give it a try. Tastes fine. Yeah, well, it's gonna taste fine. It's the eating of the garnishments that I'm not going to eat that olive. I'll eat the mushroom. <laughs> I mean, I'm a lot less intimidated by the garnish now because you can't really taste it. To me, it's like people are drunk and they want a snack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's absolutely only the, the only reason. So I made this exactly how we make our old fashions at work. I am not a fan of this type of old fashioned. It's just not for me. It's too watered down. It's too sugary. It's just not, it's the garnish of this one that just blows my mind. In 12 years, I've never had anyone order this except for four months ago. Number two, very basic cocktail. It's barely cocktail. <laughs> it's, a mix, it's a mixed drink. It's a mixed black velvet and Red Bull. Why? And in 12 years I've been bartending, I don't think I've ever had anyone order this from me before. Gentleman comes into the Riverboat Cocktail Lounge. He's dressed like a farmer, which is perfectly fine. Not judging that. People do what they gotta do, dress how they want to dress, whatever. Starts talking about food and different places, restaurants that he likes, and I'm like, yeah, they're okay. Then he orders six of these throughout the night. Six? Yes, at least. And then he orders his mama bear, Sex on the Beach. So I stopped listening to his viewpoints of food and cocktails. He said it was so good that he doesn't know how anyone doesn't drink that. And I told him in 10 plus years of bartending, I've never made that version of a cocktail with Red Bull. The Red Bull flavor pulls nicely with the BB, but I don't like black velvet. I don't like black velvet either. So like the medicinal, energy drink flavor is gone mm -hmm. and it's been replaced by Canadian whiskey. And the third is basically a riff on a French martini, but the lady did not know that. She ordered it. I had to go to her table at the restaurant and ask her what is in it because I could not find Google. I forget what she called it. And she basically said the specs, vodka, chambord, pineapple juice, and cranberry juice. And so I'm like, oh, it's a French martini with cranberry. She didn't even know what a French martini was. So I did an ounce and a half of vodka and chambord, an ounce of pineapple juice, and an ounce of cranberry juice. Cause that's That was my guess of what would go well. And she thought it was the best one she's ever had. I can't see how it would be bad. So here we go. Here we go. That is sweet. <laughs> that, is, that is sweet. It's not unpleasant. The flavors just cancel each other out. Yeah. I would like it a lot better if it was like extra chilled and there were ice shards in it. It was a little bit more watered down, maybe. It's, it's okay. drinkable. It's drinkable. Out of the three, it's the most drinkable out of all three of them. I, I disagree. I like the Wisconsin Old Fashioned mm. better. We're gonna have to have Anders make me some old Wisconsin Old Fashioned since that guy's from Wisconsin. <laughs> he probably knows how to do it right. So every time people order drinks, I like to try to write them down if I can remember them because it's always unusual. Or I'll text her like, I just had to make this cocktail. And so I thought it'd be fun to make three cocktails that I've never had or heard of. Well, I guess I've heard of Wisconsin Old Fashioned. It's the- The garnish. The garnish. I was like, 
just blew my mind. I was like, get out of here. And then like four people ordered it that weekend. I'm like, what? They must have all been from the same area yeah, for the see, same way. I wonder if it's I wonder if it's in the same area as Wisconsin that works. Right. But like, no, it's super popular in Wisconsin. These are to your taste at all. Please know that we're not slamming your taste. We just aren't a fan. Yeah, it's just, like I said, I always find it interesting in 10 plus years that there's still cocktails that people randomly order and I have no idea. And then they get, they're like, what, you've never had this before? I'm like, there are so many cocktails out there. How can I have them all? Especially regional based ones like Wisconsin Old Fashioned right. with that garnish. Let us know in the comments if you'd want us to do a second version of this, which would probably still be months away because I still have to go through people ordering unusual cocktails yeah. from us. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think this was a fun little episode to kind of digress from our normal Recipe Tuesdays yep. videos. So if you're a fan of any of these, just again, we're not judging you. We're just- We're curious. Curious, there we go. All right guys, I will drink this. Cheers. Cheers. Next time, guys.